Fabricio, um, it looked like uh, Fedor had hit you pretty hard um, during the uh, beginning of the fight. Um, was that part of your strategy to let yourself fall back, or was that actually something that he accomplished? And um, how did that? How, how did you deal with that? É, com certeza era ou ficar por cima ou sentar por baixo. Eu ficava por cima, por baixo. Eu, eu, eu sinto confortável nas duas posições. Então eu foi tão, eu estava tão confiante que podia ser em qualquer situação em que eu sei que eu ia sair. I mean, it doesn't matter what I mean, on the top and on the bottom. I was too confident. I mean, I was not too confident. I was confident enough to be comfortable in the situation. Okay. Uh, this next question is for uh, Chris. Um, it looked like uh, your opponent was taking a massive beating throughout the whole entire fight, but it seemed like she had the strength to come back. Did that at all affect your mentality, or did you just, I mean, what, what was going through your mind after the transaction? She's saying that she's, she's, she was trained for five rounds, she was ready for war. Um, she knows that Jan Finney was tough, but she was ready for war. Can she speak specifically about the stoppage though? Watching Cage side, a lot of us thought the fight could have been over in the first round a couple of times, definitely in the second round. Can she talk about the appropriateness of the stoppage and it not coming sooner? Na verdade, eu não, eu tenho que continuar batendo, esperando me interromper. Eu não fico preocupada. Por vezes, eu acredito que ela podia ter parado antes, mas como ela não parou, eu tinha que continuar batendo. She wasn't really worried about it, but basically she felt that the fight should have stopped earlier, but uh, she was going to keep pushing it till eventually it would come, I guess. Yeah. Who's going to win the World Cup? <laughs> I got a two-part question. Do you, uh, do you think that the way you train gives you the edge over most uh, of the female fighters in your class? And uh, who's next? Who, who, who's next for you? I always train hard. I always train with the same seriousness. I always train with the same seriousness. I always train with the same always train with the same um, she trains with men, basically just wants to keep progressing and getting better, and uh, basically wants to fight who's the best out there, so she wants to represent women's MMA. This question is for Josh. <clears throat> Josh, when you went back to your corner between before the third round, what was your mindset? Where did you think you stood in the fight, and what were your motives? Um, I really didn't care where I stood, what the happened with the performance <clears throat> overall, and my corner just told me to go out there and get it done. You know, and so to be honest, I was looking around the crowd, and wondering what the hell I was doing. I, I saw my whole career flash from my eyes, thinking I shouldn't, I shouldn't be losing this fight. So uh, I really had to just suck it up and get out there and get it done. Did you think you were uh, down? Did you think you had one round, he had the other? Did you have a? Uh, I thought I thought it was one one. I thought I won the first round, but obviously everyone knows the judging system right now within MMA. You really can't trust it. So to be honest, <laughs> I went out there to try to get the job done, and it, it worked out to my benefit. Thank you. This is for uh, Fabricio. Um, when, you, when you got hit with the first barrage of punches from Fedor, I mean, how did that feel? And mentally, you know, a lot of guys are broken under that pressure. I mean, was it was did he hit harder than you expected, or was it what you were expecting? No, I. I know I know him with the fight now. I, I like it after fight the the, the watch the fight. I, I watched my fight maybe twenty to fifty times. Wow. 
I don't remember now. <laughs> I don't remember, but this fellow punched me. Yeah? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not, not joking, it's serious. I don't remember, maybe this punch is maybe affect my, my mind. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but uh, it's, it's strong guy, it's strong guy, I, I, I know, yeah. I come back to the play, uh, with the players that, that I was hoping that it would be a difficult fight, and I knew that we gave a lot of emphasis to that part of the shot, because we know that the part that has more danger is the hand of him. So we trained a lot in that, in our academy, in the Fletcher, he gave a lot of emphasis to that part of the shot, and I want to thank him for a special thank him for my coaches, uh, Rafael Cordero, thank him for my coaches, Rafael Cordero, Professor, thank you so much. My, my next goal is a. Uh, I want to say my next goal, um, half in English and half in Portuguese. I want to say that my next objective is to make my professor the best in the world. I know he deserves it. I would like to. I mean, my, my next goal is. Uh, I mean, I think I talk to my own myself too, <laughs> because we have the same coach, we make Rafael Cordeiro. He's has a he's only he put it, where he's put his hands, he makes the champions. Fabrizio, who do you want to fight next, Fedor or uh, Overeem? Uh, I I want um, maybe. Feather one uh, more time, over him one more time because I fight Feather in 2006. Uh, but Scott, this is, uh, this person is the boss. Uh, the boss. Maybe next time I'm you. Next fight. It's okay. okay, Scott. Uh, I don't think I want to train that hard. <laughs> and and Scott, are you going to determine who Fabrizio fights next, or how powerful a voice will I want? I mean, M1 you know, here's a guy that uh, has beaten Alistair uh, in 2006. You beat Alistair over, right? Yes. And then now he's beaten Fedor. So uh, why don't we just let him enjoy the victory? But uh, I would think that it would be one of those two uh, that they would he would fight next. But I would say go go enjoy the victory, Fabrizio. You did a great job. It was an amazing night. It was a uh, to me, it was a Rocky S performance, and uh, even watching uh, Fedor tap, I couldn't believe it. You know, I was like, he's, he's tapping. He, you know, he's, he's tapping and tapping him out. And uh, you know, when you have a, a legend like Fedor, you know, I would say, look, don't disparage all the accomplishments he's had over his career and continuing to career. Because believe me, I wouldn't want to be the next guy that fights Fedor because he would be back. But uh, but let's give Fabricio the credit. Because uh, he caught Fedor tonight and uh, made him tap, and that's a big, big accomplishment. Congratulations. I guess we'll take a couple more here, or uh... you know, I'd just like to say a couple things. You know, to, like I said, with Frank Shamrock, Frank Shamrock is the one that introduced me to uh, promoting mixed martial arts.